Hi, it's Monday Motivation, and like always, I am super excited about it. Whew. Well, it has been an amazing weekend yet again for me, and the weather here in Dallas is warming up, so I can actually go outside and enjoy the sunshine, take in some nature, and just enjoy the bloom of the trees and all that's starting to happen in my world. Well, as always, I want to come to your inbox in the midnight hour to give you some motivation on this Monday. And today, we are going to talk about the fact that you have been given the green light. Yes, you have been given the green light. I'm pretty sure in life, you know all about traffic lights. You know that green means go, red means stop, yellow means proceed with caution. You also know that if you don't obey the laws that are associated with those lights, that you can get a ticket. Well, with that being said, I was getting ready for today and I literally thought about how in life, we sometimes don't recognize that we've been given the green light to pursue our dreams and we're sitting at the light as if it's red. So I wanna give you three key points and then get out of your way so you can enjoy your Monday. First thing I want you to understand is that there are times when we're trying to pursue our dreams and we're at a red light. There is absolutely every stumbling block every roadblock, every challenge there. And even though we're frustrated, we want to have a pity party or get angry about being at a red light heading on our way to our dreams. But what we have to realize is that red light is necessary. In that moment, in that time of being at a red light, there is a pouring that's happening. There's wisdom that's being poured into you. There's the necessary business acumen that's being poured into you. There are things that are happening at that red light that you need to gain before you can proceed. So don't negate the red lights in your life. Embrace them for what they are and learn what you need to learn so that you can get to the next light in life, which is your yellow light. Now we know yellow does not mean speed up and go through, but that's what a lot of us do, right? The yellow light is proceed with caution. And if you think about it, as you're on your road to living the life of your dreams, I would like to say that that yellow light is really for you to slow down and to be prepared, to be pruned, and to be protected. Because before you're released, there's some things that have to occur so that you are prepared for where you're going. A lot of times the no's are simply no, not right now, or they are no, not over there because what's over here is much better for you. We have to learn that just because we've been granted to move from the red light to the yellow light, that that is proceeding with caution. There's some pruning that needs to happen. There's still protection that needs to occur. And we have to be willing to go through the yellow lights in life and not speed through them. We need to proceed with caution. Finally, it's the green light. Many of us don't even recognize that we are in a green light season, that now is your go time. Now is the time for you to go at your dream life with all that you have and all that's within you. You know why? Because you went through your red light season. You got poured into. You went through your yellow light season and you received everything that you needed, the pruning that didn't feel good. You were prepared and protected in that yellow light season. And now it's go time and you're sitting at the green light waiting. You know how when you're in a car and people are sitting at the green light and you're like, why are you sitting at the green light? That's many of us in our life right now. We're sitting at the green light waiting for somebody to tell us to go when the actual light itself 
is telling us to go. So I encourage you to go at it. This is go time, guys. It is time for you to live the life of your dreams. Stop waiting on permission. Stop waiting on people to back you up. Yes, you will have people that will support you, but you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in your dream. You have to believe in what you've been called to do. You have to believe it even when it makes no sense to anyone else. And you have to believe it when it doesn't look like it's going to come to pass. I'm going to tell you something. My dreams have always been big dreams. My dreams have always been bigger than anything I ever thought I could do. And I've always had cheerleaders. I've had an outstanding mom who's always said, Tiffany, if you believe you can do it, you can do it. And she's always had my back. But until I believed it on the inside of me, I couldn't achieve any of those things. So it's go time, guys. You have been given the green light. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to keep sitting at that green light and letting others pass you by? Or are you going to proceed and go after your dreams? I am Tiffany R. Easley, your source strategist, teaching you how to live the life of your dreams by soaring beyond the drama, trauma, and challenges of life. I hope you have an amazing Monday, and do not forget, it's go time. Have a great day.